All right, this is Tiny House CTA 5. Uh, a couple things I need to add to your uh, list here. So right now we've got the rafters, the truss assembly and the rafter coming into the roof right there. You can see how it's attached all up there. Uh, the problem with this is there's nothing to keep that truss from lifting up off that top plate right now. So if we got a big wind out here, for example, it would just lift the roof right off. So what we need is what's called a hurricane clip. And that's this little guy right down here. Okay, so we're gonna take these things we're gonna attach those to the top plate and to the rafter to make that, um, make that connection there. To do that, we're gonna use what's called a Tico nail. Okay, that's a Tico nail right there. They're one and a half inches long and they're galvanized. So basically you're gonna put a Tico nail in every single one of those there. Let me show you how this goes. Okay, so that hurricane clip needs to attach. If you look in there, I don't know if you can see it on the video or not. There's a little mark right here that says uh, top plate. Okay, it lines up with this mark right here. So that's going to line up even with the top plate so that half of it goes on to the top plate, half of it goes on to the truss itself. Okay, that puts that whole system in what's called shear. In order for that roof to lift off, that bracket has to pull this way. It's pulling sideways against the nail and that nail is going to resist that sideways movement. I could pull it out this way pretty easily, but the direction of force is going to be up. So what we need to do is every single one of these trusses needs to have a rafter or needs to have a hurricane clip on it. Okay. Um, you don't need to put two, it's just one on each side. And the way these work, they only fit on one way. Uh, I only brought one out here. Okay, so that hurricane clip wouldn't fit on that rafter there because of the way it's turned. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to put a Tico nail in every single one of those holes. And you notice where the hole pattern is. You've got two nails on the top plate and two nails in the bottom plate. And that third nail should hit the bottom plate. So it's actually pulling against both of those plates. So one of the things you need to do before we go too much farther is we got to get hurricane clips across the whole thing. It is really important, you can consider this the best practice. So see this little tab right here? If that's down too low, and if we were to go to sheetrock this, that tab would interfere with the sheetrock. So that piece of sheetrock coming in here it would actually be pushed down by that tab. So make sure that's all the way flush with the bottom of the truss. All right, so when you're holding these things, I, I can't film and nail two hands, so I've only got one hand for the camera and one hand to nail, but um, when you hold these things, they're pretty short. It's pretty easy if you hold the nail this way to smash your finger with the hammer, okay? Sometimes what I'll do is I'll hold it this way with my hand flat against the uh, top plate. Just get a couple taps in there with the hammer. And once that's in, see if I can do this. Make sure that's in there nice and flush. All right. The other thing we need to do before we do the building wrap is we've got to cut the openings for the windows. Okay, I'm not going to put that in this video, but I just want you to know that before you do the building wrap on the outside, and here's some right there. There's some 15 pound um, felt that we can use. Um, we need to cut those out. We're going to use a Sawzall for that. I'll make another video for that. That'll be hopefully tomorrow. All right, so there's your, uh, your video for today. Cheers.